How are we going, folks? We're down here at the Garden Centre, and I thought I'd touch on a topic today that we've been trialling for the last few weeks, in fact, a couple of months now, and it's called the grow stick. Now, let me take it back a sec. It's been practised for hundreds of years, electrifying our plants. And what I mean by that is putting a small current through the plant, which stimulates energy, and it helps the plant reproduce twice as fast, grow twice as quick, well, not twice as quick, but at least 50% quicker. Now, if you look at the history of plants or understand the plant life and the way they grow, they spend at least 50% of their energy in sustaining and maintaining their current state of life. That is the leaf, the size, the flowers and the fruit as well. And to maintain the plant, we need to have a few elements, which is the sun, the heat, the moisture, the nutrient, and obviously the microbial activity in the soil. Now, we've been practicing how to feed plants you know, for a long time and understanding the science behind the microbial activity, which is feeding the earth, understanding the earth and how alive that is. And we understand that we need a, ho a soil temperature, not a hoil, a soil temperature level that's going to be active for the microbes and the plant to be able to grow. And it sits around 18 to 22 degrees, somewhere around there. We also need the sun, which is also the factor which provides the energy to the plant. Now, we've worked on the science of soil and understand the microbial activity by using our black weed, our super Food, that's a given. A lot of you have tried to can see the major results. What we've been trialling here in the last few weeks or a couple of months is the grow stick or the grow bud itself. Now what that does is it takes the solar panel and it actually uses electricity generated by the sun, pushes it into the soil, five volts in the soil and then it transfers that at two volts to the plant. Now what that does, it provides an ancillary amount of power or energy I should say to the plant. So in turn, rather than wasting 50% of the plant's energy in sustaining itself, it's got that to grow. So you get up to 50% more growth, and up to 30, 40% more yield in the plant, better defense mechanisms by the plants against pest and disease. This is what we've been doing here. This is the raised bed. For those who haven't seen it, allow me to take it out. It's a great little unit. I've been sitting on it for the last couple of months to see what sort of results we get in it. Now, it does work better at 20 degrees and 21 degrees. That's when it's most active and most noticeable in the growth rate. So these two probes, carbon tip probes, is where the energy or electricity is transferred into the soil. <clears throat> and that just stimulates life <clears throat> into the microbes, into the plant, and you can see how healthy they are. We've eaten one already, we got excited, we couldn't control ourselves, so we've just replanted a new seedling. So solar panels reduces the stress on the plant, it supports the organic matter that you put in the soil, it supports the microbial activity in the soil, and more importantly, it helps uh, with extra energy to the plant. Now, this is one example, and they all look fantastic, by the way. I mean, at the end of the day, all the plants are doing well. These, even though they're not the same variety, have a look at the size of the leaves on these ones here, versus over there. We've got more size coming on on the other one with the grow stick in the garden. But the better example that I want to show you, folks, is the tomato plants. Come along. Here we go, folks. These are the two samples that I've been growing together. One with and one without. Have a look for yourself. Look at the new growth on it on top already there. So that's already establishing better. Now look, the weather today, as you can see now, it's been raining. It's been, we'd be lucky if it got to 15 degrees. It hasn't been a really good day at all, as far as the weather's concerned. Really blowy, and now the rain's come along, and I've got me woolies on again. This plant here, planted at the same time, got lots of flowers. That's a terminate flower there. I've got to cut that one off because that's going to stop the plant from growing any further. That can happen, but this one hasn't. It's got its flowers on there, but it's pushing on more growth on top. And we want to see the growth in the plant. And with the warm weather, we want to see the flowers developing. So I dare say this is not going to lose its flower. By, by in fact, it's actually going to produce bigger, stronger flowers as well. So you are getting the yield, even with the cold weather that we have here. The little grow stick, little thing bloody works. Makes electricity, just like a solar panel on your house, folks. Converting energy back into the plant, which allows the plant to be able to grow bigger, stronger and healthier. Now, superfood, black grid and everything is available on our website. We've got a 30 to 70% off everything online, folks. Check it out at thesilliesgarden.com and the grow sticks are available as well. Get some into your garden and see the difference in the results for yourself. TheSillysGarden.com and don't forget to tune into 3RW if you're just watching this as we've uploaded it. Give us a call, me and Darren talking gardening today from 6.30 and I'll see you at the Garden Centre in Coburg later on. From Eva Silly, Maresi.